Hi there. In this, our last section of 2.5, we're going to be looking at solving rational equations. And it's just like in solving any other equation. You're trying to isolate x. Uh, our only catch with these ones is uh, sometimes uh, we're going to get some uh, quadratic looking equations that we're going to have to solve. And it's a little more complicated than maybe some equations you're used to. So for this one, we're trying to solve uh, x minus uh, 4 over x minus 6 equals 0. Uh, first thing we're going to want to do is uh, multiply. I would multiply both sides by the denominator so we don't have to deal with a fraction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the left side times x minus 6. And I'll take the right side times x minus 6. The right side will, of course, stay 0. And then the uh, left side, is, I'm going to have to distribute that binomial to both terms. So x times x minus 6 is my first term. And then my second term, the x minus 6 will cancel out on the top and bottom which is what my goal was, so I'm just left with 4. So then let's uh, distribute the x here. So we have x squared minus 6x minus 4 equals 0. And like I said, notice that we have a quadratic equation here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find two numbers that... Uh, we would like to tr hopefully find two numbers that multiply to uh, C and also add to B. But unfortunately, in this case, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to find that. So um, what we're going to have to do here is use the quadratic formula. So we know that X equals the opposite of B, which is 6, plus or minus the square root of B squared, or 36 minus 4 times A times C. So 4 times 1 times negative 4 is uh, negative 16. So uh, 36 minus that all over 4a, which, or I'm sorry, 2a, which is 2. Um, so then we have uh, x equals 6 plus or minus the square root of uh, 36 plus 16, which appears to be 52 over 2. 52 can be broken down into uh, 26 and 2, and then 13 and 2. So we have two twos we can take out. So we have x equals 6 plus or minus 2, and then we're left with a 13 over 2. Each of these can be reduced by 2. So we have 3, 1, and 1. So essentially we've got x equals 3 plus or minus the square root of 13. And that is my answer for x. So similarly, we have this equation here. Uh, go ahead and see if you're able to uh, figure out what x would be in this situation. And then we're going to look at one more type of problem. So secondly, we're going to solve this equation, which uh, we're going to use the same method. Um, the only problem here is we're going to have to, uh, which we should have done in the last example, uh, to be honest, but we're going to have to make sure we double check our answers to make sure we don't end with any uh, extraneous solutions. I happen to know in the last one that neither of them were extraneous, so I didn't check them, but uh, we, you should always kind of think to check your answers uh, to make sure that they both work in the original equation. So here we have uh, our uh, x plus x over x minus 1 equals 3x minus 2 over x minus 1. And my first uh, instinct, again, always try to get rid of that denominator. So when we multiply both sides by x minus 1, we have to keep in mind that each term has to get that distributed to it. So x times x minus 1. x over x minus 1 times x minus 1 will cancel out to just x. And the same thing will happen on this side. Uh, as you can see, the, uh, when I multiply it by x minus 1, just like over here, they cancel it out. So I'm going to have 3x minus 2. So then um, 
what we're going to want to do next is distribute this uh, x to each term. So x squared minus x plus x equals 3x minus 2. These guys cancel out. So we have x squared. And then let's bring these over. So let's subtract 3x from both sides and add 2 to both sides. And then we're just left with 0 on this side. Now when I uh, go ahead and uh, factor that, it looks like I might be able to use x minus 2 and x minus 1 because negative 2 and negative 1 multiply to give me 2 and negative 2 and negative 1 add to give me negative 3. So when those factors uh, are set equal to 0, we can see that x equals 2 or x equals negative 1. Now if I just left it there, uh, I could assume that both answers worked, but let's check them into our uh, original um, equation here. So we have uh, x, we have, let's try 2. So we have 2 plus 2 over 2 minus 1 equals 3 times 2 minus 2 over 2 minus 1. So we have 2 plus 2 over 1 equals 6 minus 2 over 1. Uh, 2 plus 2 is 4. 6 minus 2 is 4. So it looks like 2 checks out. Let's try negative 1. Uh, negative 1 plus negative 1 over negative 1 minus 1 equals 3 times negative 1 uh, minus 2 over negative 1 minus 1. So negative 1 plus uh, negative 1 over negative 2 equals negative 3 minus 2 over negative 2. So we have uh, essentially positive 1 half here. So negative 1 uh, plus a half would be negative uh, 1 half. And then negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. Clearly not the same as 1 half. So when we check that out, it does not work. So x equals negative 1 is an extraneous solution. So my final answer should just be x equals 2. So here's an example for you to try and see if uh, you end up with two answers like A or D or if you get an extraneous solution and end up with something like uh, B or C.